What's up, my dudes? Val here. And today we're going to check out Secret Rare Plus Roland um, from Olympus Company. So we're going to be checking him out, seeing how good he is. I have a funny interaction I want to show involving Adam. At least I think it'll work. I haven't actually used it. Let's see what his cosmetic is. Um, I want to see what this is real quick, just to see. Oh, he does the, uh, yeah, he does the, like, 8-bit movement thing. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's funny. I actually like that a lot. It's simple and it's nice. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's read the rest of them real quick. Uh, manual workshop summon nine weapon abilities. Every upgrade he gets a different ability. Um, I have play tested this a little bit. He is 1700 cost on placement, 5k attack, one placement. I have him perfect, and he is on giant slayer. Plus 40% attack increase, plus 50% bonus damage to bosses. So he's Revenger, Anti-Hero, Collector, Corrupted Savior, Fierce Fighter, Gentleman, Master Technique, Obliterator, Power Family, Prodigy, Rage, Swift and Deadly, Sword Master, Treasure Hunter, and Vengeful Justice. I didn't know he's on Fierce Fighter, so we'll change the team up in a second. And he leads Anti-Hero for 115 with an SP and minus 55%. Pretty good. Uh, it's pretty damn good. So we're going to go ahead here real quick. We're going to go to... Veshi Kun. We're gonna put Veshi Kun as the lead for the attack 140% and SPA minus 10%. And then we're gonna go ahead and give him a little look see. Um, the fact that both of these units are on Fierce Fire 2 is gonna make this even funnier. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the training field. And like I said, there's some interactions I want to try. And there's one thing that I have to ask you guys about with him because I simply don't know, and that's his final upgrade. It's question mark question mark but it gives you resist. I, I don't know what it does. I genuinely don't. Why doesn't it just say resist? I'm confused. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's take a look at his animations and all first, and then we start juicing the hell out of him. On placement, you can see it says he has a line, but really, if you place him, it's a circle. Um, and I believe it's a much bigger circle than it seems to. Let me see. I wonder if each one of his attacks has a different animation. If he has nine different animations. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade him. This will unlock the next one. And we're going to hit this. And this will give him this passive now. Where is Ambush? The very first one, his passive is Vulnerable. And now he has Ambush. So he starts off with Vulnerable's White, right? I believe it is. Yeah. Oh, he shoots him. Okay. Is this a different animation than the base? You can see it's a bigger circle for sure. So that means on placement, you just click this and then you just let him cook for a bit. It is a different animation. Don't tell me this dude literally has nine different animations. All right, let's go ahead and next upgrade. It says he got a line, but I know he don't get no line. All right, so this one's critical counter. And what is the animation of this? Let's see. It's a different animation. Yeah, I think he genuinely has nine different animations. That's wild, dude. Um, so next one is Durandal. Durandal gives him raise attack. This is the one that's funny. Because if you notice, his raise attack value is insane. 16. 16k for raise attack right now. Absolutely crazy. So next up is uh, another upgrade. Then we click Mook Workshop. and see what this is. Yeah, he's got nine different animations. That's wild. All right, next upgrade. We go to Ragnar Workshop. And you can see what these are here. Critical, bleeding. So this one's bleeding. I believe we're at Ragnar, right? Yeah, there it goes. All right, so next one is Wheels Industry. We gotta wait for the cooldown. All right, this is superpower. Bop, and then another one, a Zelkova Workshop, which is this. We gotta wait on the cooldown again. And now this is massive damage. It's like the same animation as wheels, so that's not as crazy. Then 170k to unlock this final one, right? And his final one says question mark, question mark, but I click it, right? And before it just said resist. Maybe it's on cooldown. Okay, there it goes. All it says is resist. 
That's all. I don't know if I'm missing something or what. Let me check his stats out. Let me, um, first let me see the animation. Then I can turn the timer up. Oh, he does like a whole sequence. Yeah, bro goes nuts on him. Okay. So. Yeah, no, he does like a whole thing. Oh, his attack goes up with it. Wait, wait. Is this all of the other ones combined? Is this every other one of these combined? Like, all together? Is that what it is? Because he's getting Ray's attack. And it doesn't say that here. Because he is... It does look like he's doing every other attack animation. So... How do I see this? This is going to be hard. Uh, let's go 10 mil. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. I want to see if he does bleed. That's kind of like the answer. Um, show damage on. Yeah, you saw the crit there. There's the bleed proc. Yeah, no. He's doing literally every single one of these. Okay, I figured out what the question marks are. He's doing all of them at once that's really really damn good and that leads me into the funny abuse that I wanted to talk about so let's go ahead and I want to see can we copy slot 5 do you get anything for it <clears throat> I don't know can't tell I don't think you're getting the raise attack so now that begs the question right because obviously it doesn't copy this but this is also a unique effect where he's got like every passive there is so let's go to this one give this a second then copy this can you copy that no okay so Adam no worky at all um, but yeah now we're going to go ahead and see how long it takes him to raise attack. His raise attack is actually incredibly fast. So we're just going to just blop, blop, blop. Keep summoning 10 mils. He'll handle 10 mils just fine. But you guys can see how fast he raises his attack. This is why I wanted to try him with Adam. That's 105k attack per like attack, right? Like he raises his attack so fast compared to other units. Okay. We're almost there. You know, he's really, really, really good. Okay, 22.4. So that's that now. So his attack before any buffers is 22.6k. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting down all these buffers. Um, we're going to make sure to put down Toby. I probably could have brought leader over Toby, but it's whatever. Nearest flying stop. Didn't he used to have the K? Eh, whatever. Alright, solo act. So we're gonna put it to stop. Auto ability. Alright, so already he's at 9 mil attack. And we're going to see if we can get the Dr. Stone going too as well. And bop bop. Bop bop. So he's at 9.08 mil, 173 range, and 15 SPA for a whopping 200 and what is that? 207.4k to max out. So 207,400 to max out. And 170k of that is actually one single upgrade. So he is really only like 30 40k to really get to really get rolling that's really good there's only one giant downside to him and that he is pure ground uh pure ground makes it so he's kind of rough to use uh because you do really 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 want hybrid units but he does so much damage um let's go ahead let's try one build i get the feeling he's gonna take out a one bill pretty easily yeah, look how much damage this one attack did. Because, like I said, every single hit has a chance of critting, doing super power, doing massive damage. Yeah, he has all the passes stacked onto his last attack. That's pretty cool. 
if he wasn't only ground, I would put him in contention for like one of the best units in the game. But he's not, because the only ground stuff really, 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 really hurts. Um, I guess if you want to run leaderboard, but isn't there like better units for leaderboard? I don't know. I don't really care. I don't really care too much about leaderboard and weekly challenge and stuff like that. I just do it for the rerolls. Uh, but yeah, it seems really, really, really damn good. Seems like it's a really strong early game unit, as well as good boss killing capabilities. Because of this, you just go to Furioso, and he seems good for that. The only weakness he has, the massive weakness he has, he has no ability to take care of flying units, or flying enemies, which could come up and could be a massive issue. But I think he's a pretty good unit. I think he's pretty strong. I think he, him doing every single passive at once is absolutely silly. And let me remember to turn this off as well as this so I don't get blinded in the future. Uh, but yeah, I think he's super, super good. I think he's a really cool unit, super unique. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.